Hello, the Empire, but this is Rampain, and welcome back to my Holy Roman Empire campaign for the Stainless Steel Historical Proven Project upon where you team left off from last time. Well, right now, we have now gotten to a point where I need to now stop my war with Denmark for a temporary time. Uh, they've now been reconciled back on into the Papal Sea, and I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, the, uh, yep, nope, they have been excommunicated them. Yep, they have been uh, excommunicated from the Catholic faith. Perfect. Because this one, if I hover over them now... Yeah, so they haven't been excommunicated anymore now since they've been reconciled since their faction leader died. So, Ribe, I will be just kind of building up around this area, trying to do what I can over here. Um, let's see, you're 49 right now. I need a younger heir, honestly, because I know my king, he's getting pretty up there. He's got yeah, 49, and then my current emperor is 67. I don't expect you to last much longer. And I wonder, let's see, because with the family tree at this point in time right now, you don't actually have any kids. So I think technically you would actually become the new heir apparent technically because that's the nearest family member on your line specifically. Which this guy here, he's really loyal. Honestly, I really kind of hope that you're the one that will become the next heir once my guys finally start dying. Because I don't think you're going to have any kids before that happens, sadly. Although I'm not opposed to it since you are, oh, but you have the smart trait. I want you to have the smart trait and pass it on to your kids, damn it. That's probably not going to happen. But for today, what we're going to do is, since we're going to be kind of holding back from um, Venice for right now, when I started from Venice, I mean from Denmark, we're now going to focus our attention more on to Venice. Because um, at the moment right now, I know they're excommunicated, and they don't have a lot of land. So they only have these two cities at the moment. So that's all they should have. So I could be, I should be able to kind of push on in there and take that stuff. Um, I just need to get enough of a garrison over around Gand and Lovin around here that you guys will be safe to leave. So let me get some more free upkeep units around here in Uthrak. Grab that, and then I will... Ooh, I've got another general out here. Let's see, because you guys can move out of here. Uh, you are... Let's see, I just want to make sure that you have... Okay, so you're the one that actually is currently the governor of that region. I... Well, if I take it away from you, it's actually going to make it so you're worse. Okay, well, let's oh, take this guy. I don't think I have a general... Bring one of you over here, then. So let's take you. Let's try and bring you over here to try and watch over the area. Because we don't want to have just a bunch of guys doubling up. Should be good on what we've got right now around here. Uh, what do I want to build? I've got a bit of money right now. Frankfurt. You need to get the better churches. So you need to start getting the better church. Um, that is going to make it so it's going to cost a little bit of money. Because what do we need for... Let's see. Because we need to get to this level, I think, to be able to actually uh, crown my king. So this one, we need the quarries. So let's grab the quarries first, because the quarries actually gives me more money. And reduces the cost of building stuff. So let's grab that. Then after we have finished that construction, we can just keep building up the churches. And slowly but surely get to the point where we can now crown myself. Because I have all the land I need. I just need the money, and I need the buildings up, up uh, and ready. So now, is there anything else I want to build right now? Otherwise, we'll start just gathering together some cash. Because right now, actually... It does look we are building something in every single one of my cities. Perfect. So we can just kind of save my money. You guys can't recruit anything around here. And how many turns until you guys can recruit stuff around here yourself? Five turns. So I might wait that amount of time because we need to try and reduce the amount of aggression people think that I have. Um, I do have a spy up here and a spy over here. So you'll be able to start scouting next turn with what's going on around uh, Venice. Because I want to try and see if I can take some of their land before uh, they are reconciled back into the church. So, let's take some time, build ourselves up, um, and just keep trying to uh, secure the regions I have currently, because we need to make sure we don't trigger any other wars. So if we kind of just be a bit more defensive for a couple turns, I think we can get to the point where we will then be ready. Because if Denmark decides to attack me again, sure, so be it. I can uh, defend Rye with what I've got up there. And also, I'm kind of waiting until my current emperor dies. He is about to die. I know he's pretty close. And so I want to have it so that once he's dead, I will want to take my current heir, send him back to my capital to actually kind of be at court once again. And then we'll use my heir after that to start... Hello, Rome. Um, to start being one of my main generals to expand. Kind of get him some victories there. Um, I will gladly trade with you guys. Glad and will you give excellent. me map what information? You Maybe. No, just rejecting. Okay. So I don't have any map information with Rome, but I am now trading with them at least. So that will increase my economy a little bit there, which shouldn't be that bad. 
Oh, the Venetian dog is dead, so now they're gonna be reconciled immediately. God damn it. New era for Venice. It's a rather guard, any spies and try. Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted. Garrison is public order. Ooh, what's this about? So, maintaining a sufficient garrison represents the most elementary way of keeping elements under control. Uh, they may provide up to 100% public order. Keep in mind that each field sword improves public order and our units. Units composed of soldiers not fit for policy and duties. Peasants, local troops, and knights are half as effective when gas to that. For example, Tournament provides over three times more public order than a unit of peasant archers. The, the units are effectively 260. Okay, interesting. Um, and usually these are, you need 20 units to provide, uh, prevent rebellion. Jesus. The largest uh, militia units are thus the most efficient. General Hydrate is also useful. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that's fine. Uh, missing funds. Again, we already know about the missing funds idea. We already know about, about that. Um, shit! <laughs> you guys are dead down there. Yeah, no, straight up. Uh, they, okay, so that's what happened. So they lost Jerusalem. There actually now might be a crusade soon because of that. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Um, another family member of, uh, on the wealth side. Where is the wealth side on the family tree anyways? Uh, that's over here. I love it. Wealth, wealth. I'm gonna be... I want wealth, wealth to become the king at some point. The emperor. Just because he's wealth, wealth. And then he's got uh, several kids. He's got a lot of kids. What are his stats? Does, is he, he's normal intelligence. So he's nothing crazy. I would love, though, if he was like a mastermind. And he was a, a rather intelligent character. And I could just have him try and get more kids that would be you smart to uh, kind of focus on like uh things you do in like crusader kings i'd say um bremen here i'd probably say the carpenter's workshop let's grab that for you guys let's see ribe is still fine as it is um kind of want to get you better troop production light swordsman Ooh, i would not mind being able to have access to light swordsman um i would think though for right now I want to keep getting a bit more money, though. So let's grab the water mills here. It's a pretty cheap and easy building to grab. Who else has got stuff to build? Uh, you guys can get your roads around here now, too. I could start that up here. Take 20 turns. How much trade will that give you? About 300. Um, the public order around here is not the best. Let's do that. Let's get the brothel. That'll give me some more growth and more happiness. So that's something we can grab. Um, Regensburg. You guys, I think, uh, really, it's it's upkeep for the establishment? Ah. Although, if I remember correctly, um, this mod, didn't it increase? No. I could have sworn in this mod it gave me more recruitment slots. The armor. Now, that was a different mod. I can now don't know what mod I was thinking of there, but um, you guys here, oh, everything reduces your income. Let's just get the basic farms. Just get the basic farms around here. Um, you're good, you're good. I think that's it. I think everybody's building something now. Oh, no, no, we can get something around here. I would say probably get the Baltic trade. That's a pretty cheap and easy way to get some more money around here. About 20 there. Corruption's only one. So yeah, that that's a nice benefit there. So we can start grabbing those. And then that's everybody. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be three turns until you finish your roads around here. So then you, I'll have you again keep going over to Uthrak. Try and watch over that area. Get my information. If they have been reconciled there. Um, and I have now been forced actually to accept a truce. That is interesting. Huh. Okay, so I'm no longer at war with them. I'm only at war with Denmark right now. Although, what the hell are you doing, France? I don't like that, France. I'm going to recruit some more guys around here. Can I help uh, with my garrisons around here? I probably should, um, at this point, uh, start trying to grab a couple more rebel settlements. Because with them now being reconciled back into... Uh, hi, Hungry. You're supposed to be my ally. Um, I'd say this area right here, maybe. Let's go check out what's going on over there. I think I might try... Oh, that's a big-ass army. But if we're going to be trying to take some time to build ourselves up and uh, try and wait for our aggression to go down, that would not be a bad thing to do right now. Um, I'm going to have you... Let's grab a wand. Oh, is there a rebel army up there? I just want to make sure that there's not a rebel army there. Okay, no, because I saw the devastation. Uh, there does not seem to be... Okay, so make your way back down. Got another watchtower over around there. Um, I want to get another one over here. So that'll be the last one we build for this turn right now. And actually, this city would be growing if it wasn't for you in this city. Um, okay. I'm going to take you out of there. 
at least until the city grows, because it's going up, yeah, 0.5. It's really close to being able to get to this that 6,000 mark, and I don't need you here. So I think it's not a bad idea to bring you back uh, a little bit closer to my capital. Um, I might still have it so we grab some of these units. I'll have you go scout about around here and kind of keep watch on them to see if they're going to start trying to bring anything over here. Because I might take some of these troops out of here for now. Ooh, the uh, leader of Poland is now dead too. I am now probably going to start seeing everybody start dying. Um, for family trees, let's see, management room is very important in the game. Just as well as an informed member of politics. Let's so first and foremost, you uh, ensure that not all your family members die. No shit. And then you will lose your campaign. You can keep your family by marrying off princesses. I haven't gotten any princesses just yet. Um, let's see. So yeah, you drop generals. They're pretty like from the the man of the hour. Yep, we know about that. Um, you not show up in the family tree. They will also not feature by any other blood unless they are later a little princess. Okay. So that we all know. That's how we do. Again, missing funds again. I'm at the point where I know I need to start getting banks at some point. Eventually, we will be doing that. Uh, also, I need a watchtower around here. Let's get that right there. Because we've almost got all of my kingdom lit up in vision. There's a couple little areas I know I could use a couple more watchtowers occasionally. I think for right now, we are okay. Let's see. Some good governor. Dysfunctional. Uh, I think that's because you're getting old, man. You're probably gonna die soon. Let's see, this man has been prevented from dealing with... Yep, he is getting close to dying of age. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, you guys just declared war again. Awesome, perfect. If you guys are excommunicated once again, that'll be absolutely exactly what I want right now. I didn't actually finish anything for building, so I actually have plenty of excess money. Holy shit. Yeah, there's a rebel army around here somewhere. Honestly, I want to get rid of that. Let's see if I can find... Uh, let's just grab these guys temporarily. There's an army, like, on top of this. Let's see. So there's, like, half a stack there. Uh, I don't have men in this army right now. Well, let's see what they have. Is it just the one cab unit? No, they've got two cab units. Uh, if I can get a little bit more, I think I'll be I'll feel pretty good about this. It's just all the cab. Well, I should grab you. Um, Stetton as well. At least that infantry will help out a little bit. Uh, can this guy also get over there in time? No. He's not able to reach me, so I'm not even going to send him. I think this is enough. I think so. Uh, with the extra cav, or inf extra infantry, uh, at least. I think this is doable. Because once the general's dead, my cav can very easily take out their archers, and then the infantry is nothing amazing. So let's have Ludwig von Thuringen uh, take out this little army of rebels. Just to make sure that I get my vision back around here. And then... I can try and get a couple more watchtowers up in the north around here. I think I'm going to kind of focus on just, like, consolidating what I have for right now. We've got a pretty good, uh, sizable country now at this point, a kingdom. And we need to make sure that we aren't going to be in uh, trouble of losing that. I also have one more tree here. It should be okay. I'm going to just make sure to grab my infantry here, group you guys up, and then I'll bring my archers back up a little bit. Then my cav, group you guys up. Strosh battle. Uh, they are way the hell over here. Uh, let's see. I think... Yeah, let's do this. So we're going to make our way over here. Just kind of casually walk on over. And then I'll have it so that we'll kind of be in the open field area. Cav, kind of group up over here. And then for the most part, once we're in position, uh, I'll have my archer try and start unloading on them. If I see any vulnerable uh, archers, I will gladly just start charging at them. Although, I could maybe... Just straight up run right at them with my cab and try and see if I can get a good charge on their archers. Could try that. They are completely changing where they're set up. Interesting. Okay, so let me have my cab here. Let's have you trying to rush on into their back line there because they're just trying to walk away. Yeah, they're trying to adjust to a different hill position. So infantry, keep making your way up about here and right there with my archer. Cav, ideally should be able to do a decent amount of damage to these units. They're pretty bad infantry. So if we get a good charge in on them, it's so like one of you hit the woodsman, one of you hit the slav levy. If you guys can get a good damage in here, they might turn around. Down. Yeah, this entire, the, the woodman is just probably completely broken. Are you just going to let me like slaughter all your units? Because like, yeah, this guy just hit another one. Just keep hitting their infantry. Like if they're going to let me, just keep hitting them. Like, yeah, kind of form up, properly charge them. Okay, that one's actually fighting. Yeah, pull back. Infantry is still getting in position. Yeah, you guys are trying to line up here. 
So kind of rush in position now that we know that they're adjusting. So you guys can go right there. Cavalry back off. Take out at least one of the cav units. Now their infantry, their calf's coming over. Let's kind of pull back here. Uh, infantry, uh, get just four like right there. Because I need to have it so you can help out with the calf, as they do outnumber with the calf. So let's kind of pull you guys back. Infantry is about to be in formation. There you go. Cav, let's pull back behind my infantry now. So I go back here. Okay, here they come. I've got their scouts, which is a pretty light cav unit. And there's their heavy cav unit. We'll definitely focus on that with my dude right there. Let's see, spears, train up out there. Cav, also help out with this guy. Jones bodyguard can go around the side to flank him. These units, the scout should be fine. I'm not too worried about the scout unit. Let's see, this guy is losing this fight there. Yep, everybody focus on him. Archer, I'm gonna have you switch your target to the other cav unit. Didn't they have three? Oh yeah, here it is, Jones bodyguard. So, focus on the Jones bodyguard with my archers. Uh, I don't like how much damage that cav unit is doing to my infantry unit that I sent over to help. Oh, is that's why it's the scout unit just joined on in. Okay, well you guys here. Let's see, that's a uh, javelin. Try and interrupt that unit if you can. Mm, that's not what I want to see. I don't want to see you guys breaking. Can you kind of rally them with your horn? No, not at the moment. The guy I sent did only have one star command, so that's really bad for us. Come on, guys. Okay, that cab unit's breaking. I need to now get back over here. You guys, hit the Jones Bodyguard. If we don't kill the Jones Bodyguard, we're gonna lose this. If we kill the Jones Bodyguard, ooh. Careful there, man. As long as you survive, that's all that matters. Did you just grab a random mercenary army? I did not realize that your command was gonna be this much of an issue. I know you have no command, but you should still be better than just nothing. Because if we can take out the general, we still have a chance. It's just the fact that all my infantry's broken. Archers are still alive. I'm gonna have you guys start trying to harass them. Just to try and run away. Just skirmish there. Cav now. And make your way over to the general's bodyguard. He's their top priority right now. Because if we kill him, they still have a chance to break them all. Let's see. The three. None of my... Oh, shit. Okay, so then my other cabin is broken. Uh, my cabin needs to get out of here then. So, general... Honestly, I have to withdraw from this fight. Unless you guys can do enough damage on this charge. Because he's at 31. He does have more men than me. Trying to run away. Trying to get him a little bit closer. Okay, charge him. The army is tiring. Come on. No, get back here, you son of a bitch. Seriously, I just need to kill the Jones bodyguard, but he's going back for my troops. Uh, you're way over there. Okay, General. Come on, you can do it. And he's right next to his levees, though. We must change tactics. I need you to, yeah, just get away from your infantry. Yeah. Come to try and face. Oh, you guys hold there. Try and brace the charge. Oh, uh, nope, that didn't work at all. Okay, my cavalry. Let's see what you guys can do. Come on, charge in there. You have to kill him. If you win that fight there, I can still do this. He's breaking wins he right now. He's at 14. Pull back. See if we can rally the other cab unit. Come on, I need you to rally. I need you to rally. If this guy doesn't rally, we have to run. He's not rallying. Oh, come on, man. I'm right here. Get back and help me fight, you bastard. That guy can't, didn't come back. I needed that cab. Uh, this guy is really good loyalty, so I don't want him to just straight up die. Try to do what we could, but the, the fact that you have no command really made that a problem. But it is just a rebel army. That's fine. Uh, it was at least a chance to try and get rid of them and prevent them from just raiding the surrounding areas. Um, I can try and maybe get a little bit of a proper army to deal with these guys. Because that's at least something we can try and do while we're waiting on an opportunity to arise for us to expand. Because right now, at least, over in the east... That's all I wanted, he was just pushed back here. He's alive, at least. That's the important bit, because this is a general... I don't want to die. Um, so you can just kind of chill around there for right now. I do need to get a watchtower over here if I can at some point. I know this guy, uh, you still have to wait at least two turns, technically three. Three turns until you can properly get out of here. I can actually at least retrain one of those guys now. So once you're able to do that, I'll probably have you... Oh, it looks like there might be actually a rebel army over here too on top of that for uh, watchtower right now. Let's see, Royal Bloodlines and the Family Tree. So if the campaign start, each faction has its own bloodline. This provides unique benefit to bloodline. 
Um, also my best I do want to make sure I actually keep my own bloodline. I do, I do want to try and do that. One of those family tree managed to keep the bloodline of the ruling family alive. The player is able to manage the family tree by not accepting marriages and adoptions. Should we know that these two families are maximum four children? Yeah, because at the moment we haven't even had that issue right now. It's literally just my starting generals are so fucking old. Um, no martial law in Rhyme. Nice. It's been two years since the world has been expanded, so this area is doing better. It should be happier here without uh, uh, the main army around here. But it'll still take 100 turns, 100 years, until it's perfectly fine. And again, missing funds. We know about that. Um, dislikes the land. Frankfurt's got plague. Oh, shit. That's not good. Might actually kill my king, though, with that. That straight up might kill him. Okay. So let's see. So, oh, where'd that rebel army go? It disappeared to somewhere. I was actually recruiting some guys. Oh, I think they're down here now. Yeah, that's where they've got to be. Because I'm going to have it so we'll use my king, that my heir this time, since he's actually got more command. I did start recruiting a couple guys around here, so like you guys. I grabbed you, uh, you, and I'll grab all these men here. Yep, they are right there. And then like one guy here, and then my heir can make his way over. Doesn't enough movement right now, but I can grab this guy next turn, make our way over, get rid of that force. Is the, the ranged, and then we can start trying to build up more uh, watchtowers around that area to watch over everything. Nothing going on there. Finish the brothel and water mills. So you guys around the spare. Uh, let's see. You're at twelve thousand people right now. Um, actually, been pretty good public order wise. I might grab the market because see how much did that do. That would give you another twenty. And there's no actual uh, corruption right now, so that's not a bad building to grab there. Oh, the city was, uh, it was, uh, over here. So the castle here. Hmm. Ooh, actually, let's get the trade. Let's get the trade there, because that'll give you guys you have another 30, and then that's another, uh, whoa, what the hell? Wait. Oh, it's already going up 200. Why? I was going to say, like, that seems a bit accurate. No, but it's going up 200 for some reason. Um, okay. No, that's fine, remind me. Um, information. Oh, you've been excommunicated now. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so, check it out. Praha. That is an area I'm going to want at some point. Um, so you guys have now been excommunicated. I'm not at war with you right now, but I think they, they don't have... I think they've got Genoa. No, this is Rebel. I think they just have these pieces. Let's see, so if I go... Sana. Territorially. They actually have like five regions. So I would guess uh, that's Rebel. I would assume here I need. I just need to get my spy down here because I know they've got these two. Uh, looks like they've got something over here. Maybe here. I know they don't have this one. They might have Oh, this area is Rebel too. Never mind. So they've got at least these two regions. Uh, oh, they actually have uh, Brogna under their control. And that seems to be about it. So, honestly, if we can't go to war with Venice, I think they're the next bet um, Next bet that I want to go after. Let me get another watchtower around up here. Looks like there's some rebels over here, too, that I'm going to want to try and get rid of at some point. Let me try and do that. Because it's like over here. Still. Okay, next turn I'll be able to start recruiting some stuff. Then we can get a better... Well, actually, I can do this. We can grab a spear militia here. And you can go over there. But this area can have up to... Uh, three units. So we are going to want to wait until we've got out those three units to make our way out of here. You can only get the one right now, but that's okay. Let's see. What's going on here? Translator, translator, okay. Interesting. Nothing, it seems like there's nothing that's actually going to affect the campaign, though, from this, so that's okay. Um, how many generals can I have? So let's see. So as keep your Rome, your duties are not just to manage military and economy, manage people. So let's see. Maybe to end their hardcore limits. Yep, we know about that. Um, in particular, the game will adopt the memory specifically of children, spouses, and the number of generals. Um, it's about until we're roughly about the same amount of cities we have, if I remember correctly. Thus you'll have to try to take more provinces, or wait until some of your generals die before you can get any new family members. So this actually might be one of the reasons why, um, I'm struggling to have more characters in, with my faction leader. Uh, my faction heir, sorry. Um, because right now, they're so old, and Wilf Wilf is just going to town on his wife, where he has three kids, um, and he just keeps having more and more of them. But I need somebody over here. Because, um... Let's see. I want to try and find the trait. Uh, that is my family line. Because I want to see... I don't see it on you, actually. I don't see it on my heir. I see... Let's see. So my faction leader. 
of German blood. Yeah, so this is the one. So this man is descendant of Henry IV. So it's actually this family tree, actually, because you should have of German blood, too. No. Red-blooded. You've got that. Why does he... Okay, because that's... Well, yeah, no, that's your... That's, that is your son. I think you're... Are you? An, I think you're an adoptive son, though. Interesting, because I can't tell like what you guys have, but I don't see the of German blood on you guys. Do I see it on this one? No. I don't think Welf Welf has it either. No, so I'm already going to lose my royal line, which sucks. Oh, that's a pain. Okay, well, I'm going to hope I get another chance to get it at some point. Otherwise... We can do what I did in the uh, Zarm Sword of War mod, which I really always have a lot of fun with. And as soon as I have princesses, I can try and, oh, I don't know, steal other people's family members. I, I like that idea. I always have a lot of fun with that. Um, just finished some better trade around here. Let's say, let's see, so you are growing at a rather nice rate. I would say probably get some more trade. That does reduce the law a little bit. There is a little bit of corruption around here. 60. Technically, I make a little bit more money, but I don't have anything more for trade there. That is more trade. So that gives me 18 from that, 50 from that, and then a little bit from that. That is enough to counteract the corruption, although I'd rather get rid of that that bonus first. But I don't have anything. Well, that would give me law. This would also give me law. Um, I'm just going to get some better farms first. Just just, just get some be better farms. Those are very basic building. Uh, finish our roads here. Nice. You guys just finished your roads around here. Food import. I actually never want to get this. There is no reason I would say... Well... Technically, I could see reasons that you would actually want to get this. Because it would mean you could focus on one city for a turn or a time. Then destroy this later on and get rid of it. I don't know if I'm ever going to do that, though, is the thing. Um, orphanage. Hey, there's actually an orphanage building. Uh, reduces public population growth. Okay. Uh, I don't want that. Uh, I'm going to have it so you guys just get more of the Baltic trade. The more of these I can grab, the better. There's no downsides to the building. So grab that there. And then it was... Uh, you guys just finished your upgrades around here. So I would say you guys... Um, we want to make sure you get more growth around here. So let me grab... Oh, no. First, you get the Harp, uh, harp uh, Carpenter's Workshop shops first. Then we can probably grab the this... Oh, actually, no. This is a good thing to grab for right now. Because that will give us a little bit more money. Yeah, that'll be enough to kind of counteract the amount that we're losing from this, but gaining from the corruption being reduced and everything. Also, I don't want to forget that there is this rebel army over around here that I want to try and get rid of. Oh, I forgot to grab the one spearman, so let's grab this guy. Then we can have my heir get rid of this rebel army. Uh, after this, I think what we're going to try and do is, since I'm looking at trying to attack um, the Republic of Pisana right now, I'm probably going to go for Milan, because Milan is still rubble right now. We can go over there, seize that area out, starve it to death, take that city, then push on into them. I'm still debating on, like, so right now we could, uh, I'm, like, how do I want to go about with my final goals for this campaign? Because I know right now I really want to make sure I can make sure we get to the late game units in this mod. Especially because the Holy Roman Empire has always got really fucking cool units. I've always really liked their units. Um, and so I want to be able to make sure we get to, like, really late-game technological advancement. Uh, I just saw that this was on my Discord that was brought up, and I agree that it, we might have to specifically... I forgot I'm not playing, uh, more modern games where I can just alt-tab move you guys forward. Um, that if I want to actually get to that kind of technological advancement, I might almost have to turn this into a Conquer the World, or at least restore, like, the Roman Empire campaign. And I can kind of see probably not conquer the world i don't know what it'd be like to conquer the world in this mod this mod is supposed to be very slow going and difficult to expand to really big portions so i wonder what it'd be like for a world conquest i don't think we'll do that with this campaign i think one thing i kind of like the idea of is us turning this into or at least having it so that what we'll do is reforge a western roman empire basically i could see us controlling france um, Iberia, Italy, and that's about it. Um, I can see that. I can see that uh, being a thing that we could do and focus our attention on for this campaign. We have to take all of Italy, anyways, and I've got pretty much all of Central Germany. So then it's just like, okay, I don't want to expand eastward. 
I could see us then kind of pushing on in and making sure we also take out um, the western side of Europe, essentially. I could see us doing that. And I'm curious what you guys think. If anybody really likes the idea of this turning into... I could see Roman, uh, like, reforge the Roman Empire. So we are a true Holy Roman Empire. I can see that. Um, not sure if I'm going to go with that idea. Simply because I know, like, the next campaign I do after um, my Kiev campaign. Prince Body of Kiev. Um, I want that. I want to play a Roman campaign again. I want to play as Byzantines or straight Rome, depending on, like, what mod I play with. And I really want to do that again. And I always reforge the Roman Empire whenever I do that shit. And so I really do want to make sure that I don't double up and be doing the same exact thing all the damn time. Uh, the Javelins, you guys should be doing well. My infantry is practically all dead. Some of you are still holding. Um, how are these archers doing? Archers are almost dead. Our we haven't ki the killed the enemy general just yet. We've taken like a good this? chunk of forces on our side. Right. That guy's breaking. Kind of keep breaking away. Let's focus on these javelinmen now. I think that yeah, the general's bodyguard is down to 27. Can you guys throw shit at him? Please try and kill him. Because my general is breaking down and running down a good chunk of their forces right now. But uh, Actually, the, the morale is low enough. A lot of these guys are breaking without without even killing the general. Yeah. Now, let's focus on him now with the mailed knights. The enemy king flees. A king? Is it the king of the rebels? Uh, I would love if I could like somehow try and ransom him off for a shit ton of money. Let's run, uh, let's run them down a little bit longer. Just capture at least these woodsmen, I would say. And that should be good then right there, at least. So, there we go. Those rebels are now dealt with. But, as I'm trying to think about going over towards um, taking Milan, I think what we can try and do is have uh, this army, I know there's a rebel army, over near Milan that I have to deal with. Um, it's kind of hiding on one of my watchtowers. I think we'll take this army, gather some troops, go kill that rebel army, then go hit Milan. Because that's good for you guys. Uh, merge your men together, and then... Um... Yeah, can kind of train these guys later. It does also look like Denmark is not moving over towards us just yet, so over here, you'll be able to recruit some troops soon. I would say... I'm going to grab a lot of the beat-up units and try and bring them back to be retrained. It's like all of you. That's still a reasonable garrison. Yeah, that's still a reasonable garrison. So let's try and bring these guys back over. I'm going to try and retrain whatever units are retrainable. And then I'll have it so you'll group up with my faction heir here to kind of go about and uh, actually bring him over that way. Um, I'll go around here. I'm going to get another watchtower around down here. So go right there. Uh, Poland's going for the city. Ooh. I want you guys to fail that. If you guys fail that, I'm actually going to take that city. Because we can kind of ignore stuff down here. But also, I do want to try and take advantage of you guys because I got my spy down here. They do control Bologna. You'll be scouting around here to see what they control. Again, I don't think they control... I'm pretty sure they don't control Genoa. Um, I do believe they control something down here. I need more information about Italy itself specifically with that spy. What the fuck is this? Are you serious? You want trade, but you want to opt me to give you 24,000 gold for a trade agreement with you. No! Way in hell am I accepting that? No, we will not accept <laughs> You're not even bankrupt. You're just being dicks. No matter. No, there's no way in hell I'm giving you that kind of money for a simple trade agreement with you, Venice. There is no way in hell you make that much money, or I'd make that much from trading with you to make that be worth it. Twenty-four k for a trade agreement. Wow. I'm. I'm. I. It makes sense, though. I think at least that Venice is the ballsy ones when it comes to trade. They're like, hey, this would be a really lucrative trade deal. But, but, you just need to give us a little bit of a uh, upstart um, fee to uh, get everything running uh, around in your cities so that we can really get the trades go uh, flowing around these areas. I'm like, no, that just seems like extortion at that point. I'll see army. I know, I know, I know. It's the whole fact that I'm actually bringing armies without a fa uh, uh, the general there. Let's see, so when considering or not to allow general Mary, they're coming back to consider. Uh... Certainly feel important in the number of generals, princesses, and junior faction tree. Yeah, we kind of already know a little bit of that, like that. You want to give up a higher general? Tell some of the other guys to pass away. Yep. And then 
Um, fixates on one character. Yeah, like right now, it has been fixating on Wealth Wealth right now for the fact that he is having so many kids. Again, missing pawns, we know about that. I just need to, need to get some banks, I really do. Losing a lot of people in Frankfurt. My general, my faction leader still hasn't died, which is actually kind of surprising. He's at 69 right now, so I, I love it. Uh, also, you guys are playing back from Draha. You actually pulled back away from that city. Okay. Well, for the meantime right now, I'm trying to make my way over to the west now. So we're going to keep bringing my forces over around this way. Um, probably want to... Well, you're going to be the one that kind of watches over the city once he dies. So you stay around there. Although, do get me... I have a lot of money right now, so I can actually build plenty of watchtowers right around here. So instead, you get one down here. And I think that's it for over there. You can maybe grab me one in the mountains a little bit. Right there and right there. And then I think you should grab me one around the mines. And then that's practically almost my entire kingdom lit up. I do love how, even though they're more expensive, these watchtowers have a far bigger vision range than normal watchtowers. So I really appreciate that. So, so you guys control Pisa, Frenze, Bologna. Um, that's the whole room. That is the papal city right there. Like Looks like they have something over here. So Anconda, Anconda, yeah, Anconda. We they control that, and they I might have something further down south. I think. Port, and then William. Ma oh, hey, no, new family member, uh, Linhart de Bar. That's on my faction. Your side. Yeah. No, you've got. You now have a kid. Although, again, you do not have the of German blood on you, which kind of sucks. Does anybody have that trait? Did it just not get passed down from my king? I think it didn't. No? He's the only one with that trait. Ah, man, that's gotta be like, that's one of the, one of the reasons why for me. I still think the Zardom's mod is one of my favorite mods that's been released recently. Simply because it's really good about having those traits and making sure that they're always there and they're always present. Um, I don't know if it's just the fact that like, there's supposed to be a bit of a turmoil around there. I'm not sure. Um, but it's difficult to actually make sure... Oh, actually, I think I should just get the water mills. The water mills would be better for our trade right now than the other buildings. Yeah. Let's get that for you guys. And that's all I can construct right now. Let's see if you guys are at war with each other. Okay. That's good for us. I do also think I can now start training to bring some of these forces out of here. So again, let's try and take again. Anybody that's really beat up... I want to take you guys out and we'll kind of try and bring you back. Because I think if I remember correctly, this mod does let you uh, retrain mercenaries. If anything at all, I can always make sure that I will bring them over um, and merge them with other mercenaries. So keep making your way over here. And it does look like that rebel army is still around there. So once I've gathered together, so I'll basically grab these guys here, merge them with this army, and you guys too. So you're trying to make your way down here. We're going to try and group up around um, Nuremberg. Group up around there. And then we'll figure out what else we might need to grab from troops from other cities. Okay, I wish you would not tell me this every time, but it, it's kind of nice that it's reminding me that I'm losing money that way. Let's see. So this is Johan von Efrat. Uh, who is that on the family tree? Um, We know about embezzlement. I'm trying to build things up. I'm trying to make a bank, but you guys won't let me. Um, Who was that again? So, who... I think he's on the left side of the family tree. Um... This, oh, that's another wealth. So it's not you. It's not you. It's not, wait, where is he? Oh, it's this guy. So, you don't have any of your own sons. Um... Which, actually, it's kind of interesting. This guy is like, you're only... Yeah, you, uh, let's see. This guy is, let's see, normal intelligence... I'm, I'm gonna say no for right now. It also, loyalty is pretty low. I Because of how important loyalty is in this mod, I'm gonna make sure that with the generals, we wanna make sure we grab guys that primarily have at least like five plus, I'd say. That is where we wanna kinda have uh, our focus be. Uh, Rive is sieged again. So, Denmark. I see, this is a generic family member of theirs. So, again, I'm waiting until they're excommunicated to properly push on into them. You guys have been excommunicated. Denmark's doing better for themselves. I'll try to make sure. Now, let's see. So you guys here. It's not bad garrison. I just haven't had time to recruit some units around here. I think we've got enough men to hold that at bay, so that should be fine. You're going back again for Praha. Okay, for sure right now, we're still trying to gather my men together, merge those guys there, 
And then uh, the other army was right over here. So yeah, you're grouping up with us. Next turn, we should be able to then kind of merge your forces together. And I'm... Oh, Milan's actually sieged. Uh, only three turns until surrender? Wait, what? Do they do that much damage? Oh, it's also got plague right now, too. Oh, God. I'm so... I feel so sorry for them. So he keeps kind of scanning about here. So it looks like... Yeah, wow. You guys have, like, almost all of Italy. Okay, so they've got, uh, Buddy. They've got... Yeah, that's all five of their settlements they control. I'm assuming they're the ones besieging this area. That's my assumption. Um, got the trade here for the Baltic trade. I would want to now get around here. Honestly, the Water Wells is just a really good building. It is. It's cheap, it's easy, it's to build. Uh, again, don't know what's going on with that, why it's glitched, saying that we're going to get so much more. Um, you got your thing now, so I can get these units here. I would probably then say for you guys around here, Carpenter's work, uh, Workshop next. That's a really good building. And then free better. You guys have now finished your upgrade. I will probably still say just keep focusing on the roads first. Try and grab that so we have a lot of movement range around these areas. Okay, now that means you should be able to get you guys grouped up. Uh, see, same guy. You're unintelligent. No. Again, I need to make sure we try and make sure we focus on getting intelligent characters to try and have it so we keep getting more. Damn it, now they're also going to be reconciled. God damn it. I was literally just about to start going for to war with you guys too, and now you are now no longer excommunicated. God damn it. Okay, um, let's see. So in the ship mod, there are a few traits that record the martial performance of the general. Um, so yeah, the number of battles. I still love the number of battles one. That's still a really fun one. The true victor one. Let's see. So fighting of odds that are really bad for you, but you win coming out on top. The vanquisher. Let's see. So only counts for the biggest battles. At least 1,200 soldiers in general. Um, and then there's conqueror. So all of these are pretty good. Oh, reduces loyalty. Ugh. But that is something I do want to have eventually uh, on to my king. So he actually has a good amount of authority though. Um, invest I know. <laughs> I'm trying to get... Okay, what do I need um, to be able to get banks? So, let's see. Those are under... Coins? Is it the coins thing? Mint. Damn. I want that. Um, fairground and council chambers. Wasn't there something else? Or is it just the mints? Reports. No, I think it's that. So, that is... Yeah, the fairground, that is under... Technically... Coins, trade, war medals, education, no, where is it? Bread... Uh, not that. Charities I'm looking for... Oh, I think it's technically under the handle. There we go. So it's the... Because there's the council chambers. Where's the fairground? Turning? Field, Justin Liz, Barracks, Autonomy. I'm gonna have to like, I'm, let me look through here and try and figure out where that is. Because it was again the coins thing, so it's Fairground Accounts Neighbor. Isn't the Fairground just the normal trade building? Yeah, no, there. Okay, so there it is. So we need the Carpenter's Workshops to get that. So we get the third level here, and then we get the Council Chambers, which I know is under uh, the Town Hall stuff. Which, oh, I can actually get that! I can actually get that in Frankfurt right now. Um, that did add a lot of money. So, but we do, at least right now, I need to focus my attention specifically on trying to get the church stuff. So that's our first priority right now, but I will try and get that later on. Because so I think that will help reduce everything around there. Okay. I don't want you to be reconciled. Uh, but, let's see. So that area still siege. They might lose it there. Okay, well, this army here. Let's see. So you... Let's see here, and then let's do this. So, send some of these guys over, because I know some of them can merge, but not all of them. So, grab those guys. I think uh, you two. You actually can't merge. You guys, I think, can. Yes, you can. Uh, this archer. And then here as well. It's only like half a stack. <laughs> not the best. Um, Honestly, some of these guys... Let's see, because like, you can be retrained. You can be retrained. You can't be retrained. Um, not yet, at least. I can retrain this guy later. You could be retrained. You could be retrained. No, you can't be retrained. You're a mercenary. Um, these three units, at least, I think I'm going to send over to a city. So, like, I can just send you guys back up here to be retrained. Um, this guy's only got three dudes. So he's got two dudes. I can't retrain you. Just get rid of him. Then, um, I think... I kind of want to make my way down here to see, because this, this area is being weakened. Yeah. 
They might fail in the assault. Um, I'm gonna bring my... It depends on what's in the army. So let's bring my spy back up here. And see what's in that force of theirs. If that is a weak enough army, I might be able to have it so I can take that over. And then back up here, Denmark is still sieging me. But again, I've got a decent garrison around here. I'm going to queue this guy up in case they ever stop sieging me. Uh, Norway. Ooh. How are you guys doing? Because it looks like right now. Let's see. Because you're doing well. Wow, the military for Denmark is destroyed. They've got, like, nothing. They literally just have those two regions. They haven't been able to recover at all. I kind of expect Norway to kill them. Because, like, they might be able to do something around here, but probably not. So, now... Let's see. Let's see. The, ooh, what's this about? Let's see. So, the definitely... My name scholars of the change which took place in the Kingdom of Scotland. Ooh. So, the Scottish military starts to be reformed into an Anglo-Norman style. Man, where was that when I was playing this before? That would have been really interesting to have with them. Okay. But yeah, you guys will stop getting the costly army thing once you're up there. They actually have stopped sieges here, too. Okay, so you'll be able to get that unit there to help watch over the city. Um, Norway, did you take this yet? Oh, they did. Ooh. That's a castle right there. They have, have they been... Someone was just excommunicated. Who was excommunicated? So let's see. So there's another Habsburg family member. Um, let's see. Spine, so you guys just got your upgrade around here. Get the workshops. Start grabbing that first. Um, Ulm got their exchange. Um, I'm going to keep making sure you guys are growing well. So just get the better farm there. And then Frankfurt got their quarries. Okay, so now that we have the quarries, we should just be able to just focus straight on the churches. So this one needs the carpenter's workshop. And then this one needs the quarries. Yep, so now we can start trying to get that. This one will take six turns. And the other one will take seven turns. So in 13 turns, I will be able to crown myself. I might, if he survives for 13 turns. I don't think he will. I might be able to crown myself before he dies. Um, France! Ooh. France has been excommunicated, have they? Oh. I did say I'm... Ooh, yeah, they also failed there. Okay, so what is now in that city? So I think maybe take Milan first. Then I say we should go... Well, if I go for Milan first, I might not be able to take advantage of the fact that France is excommunicated, because he might just die, like every single fucking other one of them. Okay, well, because this is down to if I plague to you know fuck it, let's just go for let's just go for France, go for France. So I will have it. So I already grabbed the units that were beat up around here. I need a couple more units here. So let's grab some guys around here. Um. You can't be retrained oh, around here. You actually have to go into a castle. So Kaiser. I'll send you down to Basil. Basil going to train you down there. Oh, I can actually retrain the hunters in these cities. I should have maybe sent those guys back too. Because you can be retrained then. Um, keep reading, they're not just mercenaries. So grab some guys from around there. I'm currently down... Well, I can also grab all those mercenaries. I'm down about six units. So if we just grab these right here, that'll be enough. That'll be enough for you. I'm going to start making my way over to Reims. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can at least take, like, these two little cities before they're reconciled. That's my plan. Because I, I do kind of like the idea of me at least forming a, like, Western Rome. Me taking all of Iber, all of uh, Italy. I, I like that idea. Um, it does look like you guys did beat them back uh, with the rebels there. So they survived there. It gives me more time to possibly get a force over there to take that for myself. Okay, so you guys are now going to be back into the fort. Uh, let's see. Oh, God fucking damn! The game just wants to keep cock blocking me. <sighs> Continuously, it keeps just doing this. <sighs> I just want to fight somebody, and they keep getting reconciled as soon as they're excommunicated. Every single fucking time. Oh my god, yeah, bring them up here. Let's have you train those guys there for us. Well, <laughs> guess I'm not going for Reeves. Okay, well, let's just make our way over. We'll, we'll we'll go for Milan. Milan, I know we can go for. So, let me just again... We're going to wait. We need one more turn, at least, uh, to grab some troops from around here and here, and then we'll be ready to make our way down to go try and hit the city. Oh, my God. It's just literally three times. Oh, yeah, for, I don't have a fleet up there. Um, you guys finished your water wells here. I would say, let's see, growth around here is pretty low right now. 
Um, that does give a health bonus. This also gives a population growth bonus. Um, let's grab that. Because there's not enough, uh, anything around the central regions, I don't have to worry nearly as much about the law penalties. So let's grab that. And then, yep, they've been reconciled. Again, just keeps fucking happening. I really, I really hope that at some point, I might just have to stop giving a shit if they're excommunicated or not. Like, I'm getting to the point right now, I'm actually doing fairly well, where we might not have to worry as much. Uh, I would prefer that maybe, like, once we have Norway dead, then we'll start pushing down that way. Although I don't need to kill Norway. I could leave them alone and just control Ride. I could do that. I'd prefer Roskilde, though, because that's a castle. Castle would be easier to defend. Send an emissary to somebody. Uh, let's send to Serbia. Do I actually have a diplomat nearby? I've got uh, you and Aquitaine. I think you're my only one that I've got right now. So yeah, I'll send you over that way. I will get a unit if I do so. So yeah, I'll send you yeah, over there. Uh, enter report. I'm doing really well financially. We're not really gaining a lot of money. Uh, more embezzlement, we know about that. Who died? Oh, mine did. Mine finally died. Okay, so king is dead. Your patriarch of the people has left is worth the kingdom. Um, on another side, your treasury will have to bear cost of funeral. Okay, that's fine. If your middle as long as in three puny provinces, there will be a sudden er, surge of unrest in all settlements. If the new faction has a broken legitimacy, um, the rest of the settlements will stay elevated until he proves himself worthy of the throne, gain the authority, or win civil war. Would it break out? Oh, please don't have us have a civil war. Yep, he is the usurper. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's not good. Well, I'm going to bring you back to Frankfurt, as you now need to be watching over the kingdom. Ah, uh, this is not what I wanted. Uh, Dijon, I need more public order around here. Um, I'm gonna have you grab, yeah, let's have you grab the school. Grab the school there, and then let's see. So, we've got the workshop around here. I'm gonna have you grab... Mm, oh, yeah, just get the library. Get the library. Is there much corruption around here? There is none, actually. If there's no, uh, no corruption, then I'm just gonna have you keep getting more trade there. Um, let's see, we've got the town hall around here. Let's have you kind of do the same deal. You're in an area that doesn't matter as much for corruption. You guys got your water mills around here. I think now is a good time to now get these roads started. Because this area here doesn't have a lot of trade, but it's going to be another 300 right there. Um, and then Bremen. Get the water mills. Get the water mills there for you guys. Okay, so who is now my faction heir? I forgot to check who that was. So my faction heir is now currently uh, you. So, you are actually pretty young. I like that. So, you are currently over... Or you're in uh, tier. Um, perfect. You are actually right next to this army. So, you can group on up here, take over command of the force, and then I'll have it so... You'll be the one that's now going to lead... Oh, God I'm going to hope you guys fail there. Uh, Dijon is pissed off. I'm going to have to have you guys try and get some troops around here. Uh, it's already low taxes. Not going to be able to do much about that unless I send... Well, I could bring you up there for a time. No, Leon's pissed if I do that. Oh, no. Uh, let's grab some hunters. Do that. Grab some of these guys. Because we have some more men over in that city for right now. Because, uh, how much unrest is there? Oh, a lot. Oh, that's a lot of unrest. Yeah, we're going to have to make sure we're focusing on our core regions for right now with that much unrest. But this does mean, um, because now my new faction leader is this guy. Um, his piety is really high. His authority is not. I'm having you kind of go back to the, your uncrowned. Let's see. I wonder if you have anything that I can give out. I don't think you do. Just like the Danes, stop scouting, famous victor, multinational. Like, you're actually a good dude. I just hate that you're the usurper. I really hate that you were a usurper, though. This is not a bad general, now that he doesn't have the uh, loyalty penalties. But I do think this is going to be probably a pretty good place to end this video for today, after we've dealt with uh, just faction leader hot potato, I guess. Or everybody's dying. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing you guys have to say about this campaign. Any other thoughts you have on it in general? This is Rampant. I'll see you guys next time.